Dolby Atmos Mix with Ableton Live. Hi everybody, my name is Thomas and uh, if you remember, some people remember, I promised to give you some information about how you can do a Dolby Atmos mix with, for example, Ableton, Ableton Live just by simply applying the Fiedler Audio Dolby Atmos Composer plugin, the plugins, it consists of two plugins, um, to the project and then uh, turn a simple stereo DAW and a simple stereo mix into a Dolby Atmos mix. And how this works, I will show you right now. So here's Ableton Live and uh, I quickly hit play so that you get an idea about the track. So, some weird strings. zu sein, hast du nicht bist, ohne zu wissen, was wir sind, hast du alle Rollen durchgespielt. Hier ist für Dolby Atmos Composer, switching to stereo. So let's switch back to stereo. All right, what's happening here? Um, so I hope you're wearing, you're wearing headphones because otherwise it makes no sense. Um, so put on your headphones and uh, follow or um, put your headphones now and start this video from uh, the beginning again. So the Dolby Atmos Composer and Dolby Atmos with Ableton Live. How does that work? First of all, Dolby Atmos gives us a yeah surround immersive speaker setup um, that is used to, well, make music and sound uh, appear not just in front of us, like with stereo or just between uh, our ears when we use headphones. No, it's a uh, full surround in 3D, immersive. And this is done by, I can show it you to you here, um, with the Fiedler plugin. Uh, that happens with uh, a lot of loudspeakers that are placed around us and uh, on top of us. If we take this different view here, we can see that here are the stereo speakers we know. This would be the center. And then the standard Atmos setup would be with side speakers. They are here and some speakers in the back while we as a listener are here in the center of all this. Now, what Fiedler Audio give us on top of the Dolby Atmos um, standard system is a 9.1.6 solution, which means we have not just the 7.1.2 speakers, which would mean five speakers around us, two on top and the subwoofer, 
we have um, more speakers around us and uh, six speakers on top, top front, top center, top back. And this looks exactly like what I've been showing to you here. Um, we have extended left, right. We have um, top back, top center and top front. If we change the view, we see the, th the three um, back, mid and front top speakers as well. And uh, when we move around again, so you get the idea. These are a little bit faint in the picture, but uh, you get the idea. You have seen the surround system. So how can we do a how can we do a surround mix without having the speakers? Well, bin oralization is the magic word, and the bin oralization uh, is uh, realized by a bin oralizer, and that's provided by Dolby Labs, and this is put into the Dolby Atmos composer here. And here we have in this matrix a view of, have a look, a uh, look, uh, a view of the speakers we are accessing, and these come with uh, channels. It's one to ten plus the uh, additional extended speakers here as well. So, how do we send the signals to these speakers, which are virtualized for us? This virtual room, which allows us actually, which allows us actually to mix for Dolby Atmos for all these speakers without actually owning these speakers and without actually owning you know all this hardware required to feed those channels to these speakers and the cables and the space and all the mess we don't need that we can just do it with our headphones and that's what we're doing right now and that's what I'm going to show you. All right. This is a very complex system, so bear with me. I like to touch here the basics and um, we can get into more details with the follow-up videos. Okay, so gets, let's get back to the Dolby Atmos Composer. So here it is. Um, how do we feed these channels? How do we get from a stereo mix to a Dolby Atmos mix without uh, yeah, first destroying the stereo mix and not changing our workflow and not requiring the use of um, additional multi-channel um, plugins for sound editing, sound shaping and effects and stuff like this. So uh, I'm going to show you. It's pretty simple. So what we did was, I uh, will put this aside, what we did, what I did was I created couple of buses here in Ableton Live. I called them left and right, extended left and right, um, bit center, sides, um, back, top and the LFE. Yes, even with the virtualizer, the bin oralizer, we have an LFE. So and how does this work? Well, if you have a look here, um, the channels, this is the 808 here, is talking, is sending the signal to the left and right bus. And um, this beat here, for example, is sending the signal to the extended left and right bus. And uh, this synth goes to the sides and so forth. And we just have put Dolby, no, Fiedler Audio Beam plugins, as you see here, and to the buses, which means everything I send to this left and right bus will go through the Dolby Atmos Beam plugin and will be sent to, yeah, left and right. And everything that's been sent to the sides will be sent to the sides with this Dolby Beam plugin that sits here in the bus as an insert. So we can have a look at this. I'll start the playback once again and uh, we can have a listen to what's happening on these 
various buses. So let's begin with probably here the strings and have a look at the buses. So you can see here it will be the sides. If I open the beam, you see the signal here. And you can see the signal showing up basically in all the loudspeakers we have, the virtual loudspeakers here. And uh, that's what's going on left and right, dry. Here we have the other loop and the extended left and right. Here's the center. For the moment, nothing is happening there because the vocals are going to in are, are, are the going into this. There it is. This is what the LV is doing. My window, all I see is drug. So the synth bed is going to the sides and in the back. Oh yeah, there's a lot of reverb going on. Why is that? Well, maybe also in the tops is also some reverb going on. So, how does it get there? Because we haven't done any buses for the effects. Let me show you. It's pretty simple. We just uh, used the regular Ableton Live effects, sends and returns. Here are the returns. We take the return channel and send it to the, let me see, so to the LFE. So, so that means that the send number two, this one here, send number two, is uh, sending signals to the LFE. This is going to the LFE, this one, and basically that's it. Yeah, it makes sense. We're just uh, having some bass going into the subwoofer to add a little bit more oomph, of course. The other sends are used for the uh, delay and the reverb and then we use one to send the vocal for example here to the center speaker to get a little bit more definition out of the signal and then we have another return bus which goes to yeah the tops and that's a vocal effect an addition and an addition cops roll with shots see here. you can hear the glocks pop as the pistols get blown won't stop till they drop a mother son and they love yeah looking at my window all i see is drugs drawn they don't to understand the, the pressure living inside the mess watching your mama sell her pain pills off the dresser i guess that's the way that god likes to test us and it's all a game for what's to play yeah we next up yeah growing up where people always sleeping on the couch ain't motivated there's no way they and just by adding these buses and routing the effect returns also to the buses, we are able to create a Dolby Atmos mix and uh, just without needing to change our basic configuration of our stereo program here. And um, Let's have a look at the Dolby Atmos Composer again. Here it is. And you see that we are, of course, listening to the whole thing been orally. Let's just uh, switch off the So take away the reverb, and um, we 
can switch between stereo, as you've seen. And binaural. We have um, final volume control because for providing Dolby Atmos mixes, you have to uh, you have to um, be very strict about your levels. But that's a subject for a different video. And now here we can have a quick look at the um, output formats because um, you can then approved by Dolby Labs, the Dolby Atmos Composer is certified by Dolby Labs, which means that the output formats are okay with uh, the Dolby standard and all the uh, data specifications all the streamers expect from you if uh, you want to supply a Dolby Atmos Mix for to Apple Music, Tidal or Amazon, which are the streamers right now that accept uh, immersive audio content so you can um, render out a ADM file which is basically uh, the big master file that contains all the information from all the channels you're using for your Dolby Atmos mix so that's going to be a pretty big file and you can also use and create a stereo binaural file which is just a normal stereo WAF or AIF file which you can use to either create an mp3 out of this and you can even use for um, you know your standard mastering process and uh, enhance it a little bit and uh, send it out to your friends and um, business associates for um, collecting some feedback so that's uh, basically basically it in a nutshell and uh, I'm sure now you have a lot of questions about this and hopefully you are interested in getting a little bit more out of your music for all the listeners out there who are listening via headphones and maybe even also the ones who have uh, invested in extensive home theater systems uh, who are able also to listen to Dolby Atmos multi-channel immersive audio content with uh, bigger speaker systems. Okay, um, I hope I could give you an idea about what is possible here with not so much effort. You just need to organize a couple of buses, route them for once, you can create a template and then have fun. Um, feeding your music, your recordings, your performances into Dolby Atmos and distribute it to the streamers. If there are questions, as I said, leave them in the comments. We are happy to answer them. Okay, for now, thank you and goodbye. You ever been so poor you had to sell your own shit To make a little change so you ain't sleeping on the floor to make a profit